Hey, welcome back everyone to the channel. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we are out here in Africa. We're on Verhonga Savannah and we are in season number eight, week number five, following up our European Bison week from last week, which was amazing for us. Couple diamonds, couple rare, and we are going to check back in on that real quick before we get started with the hunt. But for now, we'll talk about why we're here in the savannah. Now, this week's competition, we are after the Blue Wildebeest, and we're going to be after them here with this 303 rifle. We haven't had that out in a minute, so pretty cool to get that out, but we are after the Blue Wildebeest. Golds only, so we're going after our three biggest gold Blue Wildebeest. So hopefully we can get some trolls in the Wildebeest. That, that's possible. We could find some trolls. We'll find those herds and see if we can't get a five that'll give us a big old gold score, but that's what we'll be after. Now we are already qualified, as last week we had the Supreme Huntsman by getting the largest diamond. That was our first time ever. We got the largest diamond since that award has been available, and that's only been the last two seasons, or season and a half. And uh, so we got that for the first time, and that qualified us, but prior to that we had two sniper awards, so we did qualify for that already. So our goal here is just for trophies and to have a good time, see where we land. Hopefully we'll get in that top three this week. Still want to do that for sure, but the other words we can get, and that is the Supreme Huntsman Award, which is for the largest diamond blue wildebeest, level fives included. So that's any diamond, the biggest one, just like last week we had with the uh, European Bison. The Sniper Award, which is the farthest single shot taken with our 303 rifle on a male, wild, male blue wildebeest with all harvest checks passed. And then you got the Jackalope Award, which we haven't done this uh, season, so maybe we'll find a nice little baby male. But that's the lowest scoring male wildebeest with all the harvest checks passed. So we'll look for those little guys. We'd like to get that award. That'd be nice. And we can have all the extra awards this season. That'd be pretty cool. So obviously I'm looking forward to this. I love being out here and we're going to look for those lions and other species as well. So uh, it's always a good time out here on the Verhonga Savannah. So we'll see how that goes. But first I will take you back to the lodge to show you something else most likely. And then we'll get to hunting on these wildebeest. But I hope you all enjoy the video. Well, let's get to it. So we had a comment on last week's video from Bruce. And thank you, Bruce. And he says, you should do the multi-mount with the two bull Euro bison. And I totally forgot they added that in when they brought in that uh, extra, the extra trophy lodge that I haven't even used. But I totally forgot about that. So I think we're going to grab our pie ball and our mellus, see if we can put them together. Now, the problem is we're going to have to put them on a huge um, platform. So we'll see where that fits in, where we can move last week's trophies with it. But I'll, I'll do that real quick. And we'll see uh, what we can get with that. But, uh, all right, let's see. Let's put them together first. So if you've never done this, you go to the multi-mount. So we got them in our inventory, obviously. And we need to look for anything with a check mark. So there it is. Bison Bonanza. There they are, the two males. It's going to take a big old... Uh, stand for them so we'll see where we can squeeze them in all right so I think that's gonna work for us we'll get them back here in the back room um, put them together that's the only place we could really get the uh, the big old bison back here we had three plaques there plus we can put our fallow from it right here and this whole hunt is captured right here with all six of these uh, animals and our trophies but we went here with these guys. I just found this to be, you know, they're both head on. You can see them really well. Really shows off the melon nice. So I think that pose is best for us because uh, the fighting ones, you know, they hook up. You can't quite see them as well. I just thought this looked really good together. So that's pretty cool. So that's what we're going with. And again, thank you so much, Bruce, for suggesting that. I'm glad you did. I have not been messing with multi-mounts. I hardly ever do because usually I never have it because I keep all my hunts together, obviously for uh, these series and uh, you rarely get to where you can put a mount together you rarely get that you know that many of a species to fit it or the right species because sometimes the multi mounts aren't the uh, same map or whatever but 
There we go, guys. That looks really good. I'm very happy with that. Thank you so much, Bruce, for suggesting that, because I'm glad to get those two together. That, was, that's, that looks awesome. Perfect. And I had the perfect spots for it, so it's like it was meant to be. All right. Now let's get out to Berhanga. Let's go find some wildebeest. Check on them lions. Well, <laughs> I'd like to get closer, but that's a that's a pretty nice estimate. Where'd he go? Is that him? There he is. He doesn't go to the max weight, but man, his score is 35 to 39, so he's not going to be a diamond. So that means he's going to be at least a 35, so we're going to go for that guy. Unless nobody else comes up. Oh, there's another one just as good. These guys keep coming in. That's pretty good, too. But this one's guaranteed to be at least a 35. I don't see any of the other big ones yet. We're gonna go ahead and take this guy. We're we're good ways out, but not too far. It's uh, 303. Should have no problem with this. But we'll go ahead and slip one in here for our first one and see how that goes. We should have some more over there, but they shouldn't be spooked. So that's why I'm hoping to take this guy from this distance. That way we can still go for these other ones on the end down there. Might have been a little high. Oh no, we're good. Already dropping. There he goes. He's down. All right. Good deal. All right. Let's see if we can't spot something else. But uh, we'll head over there or closer to these guys and see if they uh, spooked on us or not. No, they did not. So we'll check these out first. Oh man, there's an awesome one right there. Look at that. He goes up to max weight 639. That's what we were looking for with these guys. I'm always looking for that max weight score. And, uh, 36 to 41 again 37 is the diamond 37.6 so this guy if he trolls he's gonna be fantastic for us if he doesn't hey it's a diamond so we're gonna take that guy he's in between ranges here so we'll go with the 160 a little high should be good to go yep he's dropping good deal wow what an awesome find okay if he's a troll We've got a couple awesome golds. If not, and we're a diamond gold, we're just fine with that too. We're not going to complain. What a way to start. Very first couple. Well, these guys, they didn't even spook. Let's just check to see if there's anybody else in here. Those are all, yeah, too small. Level threes aren't, aren't what we're after. Well, do we have an amazing troll? Which would be super good. Or are we into a diamond first animal? Technically our second one we shot, but he's the first one we got to. Diamond right there, 38, 24. That's a that's a nice diamond right there. What? A, well, the first animal we pick up in the competition for the weekend is a diamond. There we go. What an awesome way to go. We were in the team competitions on the angler this week, so wanting to spend some more time there, getting through the hunter quick. I'm all about it. Let's let's make that happen. <laughs> but what a way to start. Diamond to start. I don't know that I've ever done that on the Hunter. Diamond to start. I might have, but I don't think so. Man, that's awesome. There he is, though. A 38-24, a level 4, 605 pounds, 254 yards with our 303. Catching two vitals, the liver and the lung right there just in the back. Awesome deal. What a trophy. Gets to go in the lodge. Gonna have an African hunt this weekend. That's awesome. Well, here we go. Now this guy, again, wasn't up to max weight, but maybe maybe he's going to be a big gold for us. Uh, oh, he is a big gold. 36.29, and again, diamond is 37.6, so ideally 37.5 is what we need, but a 37.6 isn't too bad either, so we'll go ahead and take our screenshot for this. This will be our first entry on the weekend. Get a couple more of these golds, and then we got something to work on and build from, but... That 385 yards we did, and oh, that landed pretty good. It wasn't too high at all. Another liver and a lung, and a good drop. That 303. Haven't used it in a long time. What a fantastic weapon in this game. It is a deadly, deadly bolt action. A little guy right here. I don't want them getting away from us, so we're gonna go ahead and go right for him. <laughs> He's a 28 to 33. The 2887 is the current jackalope. I don't think he's there, but it's uh, only two I think I've seen so far. So 
I just came in here and kind of spooked everything, so I wanted to make sure to get him down before too long. But we'll go find out here in a minute once he goes down. All right, 28.87. Oh, no, he's a 30. Little tiny horns. Not tiny enough, but uh, we're getting a feel for it. I gotta, I'm got. i remembering to at least look for him. That's a, that's a plus. I just... Man, I saw it. Yeah, it must be that guy. 34 to 39? No, I saw a 36. There he is. 36 to 40 right there. Real good chance of diamond, but real good chance of getting a nice gold out of it. I think we'll go... We're going to go with that from here. Um, I guess we spooked them out. Should be solid. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. We might go for this other one too. Yeah, he's down. We got him down. You guys are spooked. Is it this guy? Yep, he's alarmed. Hopefully they don't run too much. How far are they? Not too bad. Get him calmed down. There we go. Oh, that might be too far back. Oh, he's dropping. Uh, might have dropped in there and caught liver. <laughs> kind of sped up a little bit on us there. All right, we've spooked this area plenty. Let's go check this guy out up here. And maybe that backup guy over there. All right, here we go. Let's see what this guy was. And, oh, a big, a big gold, 36.3. I really need that 37. There's a bunch of 37s in there. So we're to the point of mostly paying attention to trying to get the big 37s. But we will still get out of our screenshot because we still got to get a full team. And uh, two 36s will be just fine for right now. Uh, there's a second one up on the, up a little higher up the hill for us. See if we caught Vital. Oh, we did catch Vital and a 3606. So we got three 36s now. Now we just need to replace those with some 37s because this is not going to cut it. I can already tell it's early or it's, yeah, I guess we're halfway past day one here and uh, these ain't going to cut it already. So, <laughs> so that, uh, yep. <laughs> so grab our screenshots. We've got our full set now. Give this guy a try over there. Oh, might have dropped a heart right there, maybe. That's, that'd be pretty cool. Let's go find oh. out. Oh, I dropped my heart. Okay, here we go. Anything? 36.84. That definitely improves us, so we're going to hold on to this guy. Trying to get into the 37s just below a diamond, because it's going to take a big score this week. Almost spooked everybody <laughs> running up to this lake. But, yeah, there he is. Uh, max weight right there. Nice gold. Level 4. Could be a diamond. But I'm thinking he's going to troll us a little bit. So that is good. But... Uh, he could make it. Who knows? <laughs> you never know. I'd like to check this other gold. He's got to be a male there. I can't remember if I hit him or if I uh, checked him when I ran up or not. Uh. There we go. Put you in up. That'll be a heart. <laughs> Finally, man, that took a while. All right, good chance of looking at everybody here. Everybody else should be behind those trees. I don't think we're gonna see them. But we do have a, a nice goal. We'll go check him out. All right, we've got in the 37s. Yes, 37, 39. Exactly what we were looking for, everyone. Woo. That gives me a lot of hope. So, you can find those big old fours that are just shy. Isn't that crazy to be excited about something that's not a diamond? Uh, again, that's what the competitions do. It gives you so much. It just expands it, expands your enjoyment of the game. It's a lot of fun.
That's awesome. 37.39. Big old gold. That one's definitely getting entered because that's not too far from diamond. Again, diamond is 37.69. So 0.3 off. Can't get much better than that for us, but we will certainly try. Awesome. We've got a nice little guy over here. I'm trying to get far enough away from him. It's, it's about where that is so getting closer to 300 because I want to take this guy over here who is a 36 to 41 so he could get us up in there just below diamond but I want to be far enough away I don't spook that nice little two to try to go for a jackalope so let's try to get both these guys here we should be far enough now for sure and get your head up enough oh I missed my breath right there that one's down. Make sure that guy didn't go. Perfect. Actually, he's just uh, gonna stand there. We'll go ahead and take him out too. Should be gold. 26 to 31. Gold isn't good. I didn't mean gold like gold. Hey, uh, yeah, 26 to 31 and. The jackalope is 28, so should, we should be golden. That's what I was trying to say <laughs> with the shot. So, all right. Anyway, let's find out what this guy is. We're almost there. We'll just go straight at him here. All right. So hopefully, he's a nice big gold. A 36.7. That's not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and screen shot that guy because that is. Better than most of our other 36s. I can't remember what our best 36 was, so I, I uh, wasn't writing it down because I'm focused on 37s. So. But we will take that screenshot, so let's move on and let's go find out what that jackalope is. Alright, here he is. Gotta get, oh no, he's only a 30. And that's just fine. We'll go to the other one. Maybe uh, maybe it gives us a little better. Had a lower estimate, so let's, let's hope so. We do have a lion we've spooked, and now they get stuck out here while they're feeding. When I was running down to this uh, lake, but we've got the, oh, he's he's a bit spooked, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, he's already gone. Bum deal. Maybe let's slow down, and give us a chance. He potentially could be a diamond, so we wanted to take him down, but. Uh, Hit him. Might have been good enough. We can come back this way. Good deal. Brown, so we know where he kind of drops up here. Okay, good deal. Let's <laughs> go see if that crazy witness worked out for us. So, did he? No. 317. That's alright. Can't have it all. Oh, how did we do this? Oh, barely got the liver. <laughs> Lucky trotting shot. 250 yards. But, uh, worked out. Well, <laughs> there we go. Way over there across the lake. That is a female. At 335 to 336, there's another big set of uh, horns next to her. I don't know what that is, but man, that's a... Oh. That's a male up to 342, but we'd definitely be going for that female on the bright on the other side. Can we get her? No. We have to really work over there and try to get him. Oh, oh, he's going to move. Yeah, level 5, 335, 376, and those guys are 337 for diamonds, so... If it doesn't make it, it'd have to be at the bottom. So we will definitely close the distance there. We were gonna work over here on the lake for our uh, wildebeest over there, but I'm not passing a five female. That's awesome. Let's see what we can do. All right, finally, here we go. We're gonna take this shot. Here we go. A long way to shoot a potential diamond. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 
going to be up high, drop it in at 400 plus. She's dropping. Not very fast for a 7mm, but it is still dropping. Man, that's that's kind of <laughs> kind of iffy. Oh, oh, there she is. Come on. Come right back to me. That's great. All right, there she is. She's down. Whew. Well, let's find out. That's all we can do. Here she is. We have no idea if we got a vital or not from that distance. She went down pretty quick. We'll see what she is. And she's a diamond, and we made it. A 356. A 337 is diamond. And I think Max... What I have for Max is 358, so that is a big, big girl right there. And she is 462 pounds. She's a female, so she's not going to be quite as heavy as the males. But that score is a huge score for these guys. I mean, you're looking 20 points above uh, minimum there, at least. And we're over here at 406 yards. We took that and just got the lung just enough with a 7 millimeter. And she ran that long. And that far around so that's pretty cool uh, I mean they're pretty tough animal that's for sure at least in this game and that is gorgeous what an awesome trophy to, to have not just because it's a diamond but just kind of challenging myself a little extra there and taking that longer shot but that, that seven millimeter dropped in no problem I think we were right about the spiner just higher and we dropped it right in there when we were zeroed for 320 so Awesome. Here we go. This is all but guaranteed right there. A 37 to 42. They gotta be 37.6. Um, so all but guaranteed. We're not gonna waste any time because he's yeah, make sure there's nothing else. We don't wanna we don't wanna waste any time. Let's go. Let's hope that this guy is a monster. We'll see. Try this right. Here, we'll go check him out. There's no way we got trolling this guy. But I wouldn't be upset if we did. Here we go. 38.95. Very similar to the first one. Double diamonds on the wildebeest this weekend. There we go. That's awesome. The level five this time. 139 yards right there. Boom. Caught triple vitals. Only missing the heart. Got the liver double lung. That's awesome. 139 yards with the 303. Throw it in there with the Gimsbach. And it is making up for a fantastic weekend. Might not even have room in a lodge. <laughs> Hope our good luck continues, that's for sure. Here we go. We've got a... What was it? A 34 to 39. But it goes up to max weight. Let's see if he'll turn a 37 for us. Pretty good wide set of horns there, so... We just got to get a better shot. I think, honestly, I think, yeah, we're in good enough range. We can go right here, quarter into us. I'm sure we can bust through that shoulder, no problem. Let's go with that. Yeah, there we go. Super. Not gonna float, he's gonna run. And he's down, let's go find out. Maybe we got a gold. Gold, gold, <laughs> it's 37. That'd be cool. Here we go. Right under this bush. What we got? What we got? A 3674. It's still a pretty big 36. I'll grab the screenshot. Again, I still haven't wrote anything down. Uh, I've just been kind of collecting everything because my goal is to get in the 37s. But we'll go ahead and write this down. Or I mean, we'll go ahead and take the screenshot for it and we'll see what we have when we're done. If I can't get the three 37 pluses. So, what nice golden though. Well, I've stumbled onto a first for myself. It's a rare wildebeest, but it is female. Right there, right on her. That's pretty cool. I seen that and I thought, oh, please be a male, and it was not. There's nothing else really around this that we can use. A lot of herds on this lake. But we are going to take her out. 
Might as well just go from here. Here we go. Very solid hit for her. That is a first, though. I assume it's albino. I, uh, I mean, let me look at my sheet here. Yeah, crowned an albino. I've got a couple crowns. Haven't seen one of them since a few updates back, but never have I been able to get an albino, so this is pretty cool. There she is. She stood out pretty good when we got over here. That's pretty cool. Let me get a look at it because I haven't had one of these personally. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to squat. Good deal. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing her in the lodge. So, yeah, we'll grab her. And now, Bino Blue Wildebeest. We'll see what she looks like in the, in the lodge. Man, we are stacking up all kinds of trophies. Didn't have a rare yet. Now we do. So, very nice. Finally found. Finally, finally. Where did it? Which one was it? Was it this one? No. I found a max waiter. There he is. 33 to 38. Something else to work on. What was that? Ah, somebody. Nope. It's female. So we'll go with. Oh, don't you take off on this. Take him. Uh, that one's got a chance to make a 37. Probably won't. Did have max weight, so got to try. Well, let's see if we got one. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. 37.44. And again, diamond is 37.69. This guy is 0.25 away from diamond i know that sounds crazy to be excited about <laughs> but that is a big big scoring gold for what we're doing our best three golds what we're looking for that's two of them over 37 now we just need a third but yes we've done it we've got two man and this one the estimate wasn't great but it was all about the weight it had that max weight i had to take it out of the herd if they got the max weight i'll give them a chance and uh paying off so far that's for sure what a, man this is this has been a really fun weekend uh, focusing on these wildebeest this is awesome nice we got a nice max waiter there 36 to 40 potential diamond but hopefully he's a nice big 37 don't stand in front of him oh my goodness <laughs> if you were oh, he glitched back even better let's go Catch him right behind the shoulder. Oh, that's a heart. Boop. <laughs> I love the blue wildebeest heart shots. <laughs> what a great... Is it... Are we floating? I love those heart shots. Those are great. It looks like we're standing still, so we can work our way around there. We got some more over here, probably, unless we spook them. Yeah, we can check them out, too. But we'll go find out. Well, we'll try that. He's in the <laughs> the trees there. I was going to say the weeds, but he's really in the trees. Hopefully we can slide right through there. He's uh, 34 to 39, but he has max weight. We're on our way to pick our other one. Oh, we got it. Good deal. That should be a lung. Oh, yeah. Keep our eye on him. We got to go pick our other one up first, and then we'll head that way. All right, should be down over there somewhere. Let's go pick this other guy up off the... Off the lake. We ran over here and we spooked these guys up onto the hill, so. Alright, let's see. Oh, he's a gold 3701. I, I, it's been a minute since we checked. I think we had a 36, didn't we? Yeah, we had a 3683, so this is awesome. This is going to actually help us. 3701. We'll get to grab that screenshot. Awesome. Now we're all over 37. This will be our smallest one at this point. We got a 37.39, 37.44. I've been fishing like crazy, so on the angler competition, so I kind of forgot where we were with these guys. Awesome. Good screenshot. We'll get that saved. And let's go up the hill and see what this other guy is. Now, here's our other guy. Let's find out. Gold 37.18. What the heck? <laughs> 
two of our top three scores are now going to come from one hunt around one lake. That's awesome. Let's get that screenshot now. That's, uh, well, I guess, yeah, technically it just replaced the one we just had, didn't it? <laughs> I just don't have to enter that last one, I guess. Best way to look at it. Yeah, 37.3 and 37.4. So this will be our third one. It's, it's not both of them in the top three for us, but hey, we'll just step up one at a time. This is great. Fantastic. We got that right there. Caught that long. 142 yards. All right, let's get him saved up and screenshot. Well, we've got a tough choice. We've got this guy, 26 and 31. And then we've got this guy, <laughs> could make diamond. He's max weight. Could be a big 37. <sighs> what could he do? That guy's horns look pretty big, don't they? They stick out. The other ones that we didn't win, uh, win score, whatever. Barely had nubs, so I think we'll just go for the big guy. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. If the other guy gives us a chance, we'll try. I didn't think so. We'll keep our eye on him here, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, he's gone. Alright, let's go check this guy out. Let's see if he's a big 37. Alright, did we get a new entry? 37.55 right there, yes. That is awesome. 37.69 is diamond. 37.55, that's a huge bump. That is going to knock out the 37.17, I think it was we just had. I haven't even entered it yet. So that's going to give us a 37.3, 37.4, 37.5 right there. That's awesome. That's going to help quite a bit. That's a big jump because the one that's in there right now, we're in sixth place, is a 36.83. This is a 37.55, so not quite a pound, but quite a bit. Now, we are behind first place, we're in six, behind first place by 1.2 pounds. That's that's pretty cool. That's going to get us much closer. It's going to move us some spots. Well, here we go. That is a crowned female right there. About to hit her drink zone. We're going to check on these but we gotta let's see what we can get what we can get her to do I want to get her attention if you guys move along let's see if we can get around here we don't have to run but is she moving yeah she is perfect it's almost perfect that is great. It's a female, but it's crowned, which is a rare. That'll go nicely with our other rare. We'll take a couple rares as we can. Let's see where we get her. Just to the top of the hill. Yep, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's go, a crown. Not had a crown in a long time. So getting that albino and now a crown, those two females will go nicely together. There she is. Awesome. I have not seen one of these in a while. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Got that 303 right in there on that single lung. So <laughs> kind of a funny face. But we will get that screenshot. Get her for comp for the win. And get her into the lodge. What a nice trophy. And a little bonus trophy here at the end of the competition. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. That's going to do it for this week's competition where we were season eight, week number five on the channel for the Hunter Call of the Wild. And we came away with five trophies right here. And I would like to probably do something with this guy. Make him jump or something. Something cool. There we go. That'll work. Anyway, we came away with five trophies this week. We were not in the top three. No jackalope. No uh, no sniper award. No supreme huntsman. That's just fine. Five trophies. We'll take them all day long. Our our two rare females there in the middle. A first time ever getting an albino and then a crown, which we've had a couple of, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Then we got our awesome diamond gimsbok down there on the end. And then we doubled up with diamond 
blue wildebeest right here up front. So this was a nice spot for those guys to go. I had five and I'm like, yeah, they all fit right there just fine. We had a really good time out there on Savannah as usual. I was really putting my time in the line as well when I was able to get on there, but it wasn't meant to be this week again. Every time I try to go there for something, I always want to check my lines. I just I just like hunting them a lot, but uh, we put a lot of time into the angler this weekend, which you'll see here in a couple days on the next video, but most of my time was put in the angler for the team competition, so that explains a little bit of it, but we were still able to come away with five trophies this weekend, so pretty, pretty special. The last couple weeks have been awesome for us, trophy-wise, and you cannot complain about that for sure. So week number five is the halfway point for the season, so we've got five more weeks. And then we'll be headed into the tournament for this uh, eighth season here. And uh, look forward to all of that. But looking forward to seeing where we go next week after Savannah. There's lots of buzz starting to go around for the Hunter as the new map starting to be talked about. Something's coming up soon, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, we got to work on what we've got. So thank you all for being here and supporting the channel and waiting this long into the video and seeing how we fared. But I appreciate it so much. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on our next video. Until then.